Hello and welcome back to For Real. Today I'm coming to you from inside the Angkor Archaeological Park and I'm here with a purpose and that purpose is to find out if I am still a chicken. So last time I came to this temple was during COVID. This is Bapuan by the way, you can see it back there and I was too scared to go up to the top level uh, because there weren't any other people around and I thought if I fell or something like that <laughs> no one would hear me die basically. So I'm here today to find out if I have more metal than I had back then and see if I have the guts to go up to the top. This temple opens at 7.30 in the morning and it's just gone 7.30 so there shouldn't be too many people around inside. I hope you can appreciate the scale of this place. It is enormous. It's what's called a mountain temple. So it's basically just a mound. Um, the inside of it is full of sand or something like that, but it's really just the, um, the mound structure that they are interested in creating. So nothing inside. Lots of temples like this around Angkor, built in this style. Um, this mountain kind of style. This one's got its own causeway. Another interesting thing to note about this temple is that when it was kind of rediscovered and cleared back in 1908, it was very much um, in a state of ruin and the foundations were no good. So they basically took down the whole thing and redid the foundations, then put all the blocks back together, which is... <laughs> I mean, looking at it, just a staggering feat. But they did it, and it's still standing today. So as soon as you arrive at the end of the causeway, you are greeted with the first set of stairs. And let me tell you, these are nothing compared to what we will find. There's the view back out along the causeway from the top of this first flight of stairs. Alright, as I recall, we have to go around this way to get to the um, staircases to the upper levels. Just trying to walk fast, <laughs> not giving myself too much time to think about what's going on here. Let's get moving. Actually, I think the video that I did here the last time <laughs> was so old that I was just using my phone. I don't think I even had any stabilization back then, so a very long time ago. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. Oh, roll chicken mode. All right, I've got to put this camera away. Hopefully I can make it up this first step. Well, I made it up the second flight of stairs. I think there were about 37 in that case. You can see where I came from just down there. Oh dear. All right. way of visit. I love that. <laughs> the one ahead is just stairs going up. Yep, okay. This is the set of stairs that I did not go up last time. There's a bloody monkey at the top. Two of them. I like how the handrail just disappears on the right hand side over here too. Oh, Maybe I'll go a little way and see how it feels. Okay, I've come up this flight of stairs, a handful of steps, and I think the verdict is still a chicken. I just don't know that I've... <laughs> I just don't know that I'm brave enough to do it. It's just so steep. 
The stairs are so skinny. There's no handrail on the right hand side. And there's <laughs> potentially evil monkeys waiting at the top. I don't know if you can see, but these blocks to the left have some amazing carving on them. Just beautiful. The level of detail, intricacy in that stuff. I just want to shuffle to the other side of this step and turn around if I can. Oh, shifting foot. Okay. Look at this. I was kind of thinking I'd just hang around here until some other tourists came along and, um, you know, go up with them for a bit of protection. But I don't know. The more I stand on these steps, the more I feel a bit sick to my stomach. <laughs> would you do it? If you're watching this, would you go up these stairs? I don't know how far up I made it last time, like whether I ventured into this stairwell at all. It's definitely beautiful here, but yeah. Check these stairs out. See them there? Look at that. Yep. Don't think I can do it. There's some monks coming up now. They're probably going to do it barefoot, just to make me look bad. Okay, let's just say I was absolutely going to go up those stairs, and it was only when I saw the monkeys that I decided not to. Okay, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Oh, here comes another one. <laughs> They're not concerned about the stairs at all. This is weird. It's as quiet now as it was when I was here the first time in the middle of COVID. I expected that there'd be a handful more people this time. Do you just can't beat the beauty of this place in wet season? Oh, there's some pretty amazing carvings here. If you see, there's three-headed naga there and there's another one further up. All this scrolling kind of leaf, nature-inspired kind of detail. It's very beautiful. So if you go up to the very top, there's a second set of stairs that you come down. Because I guess when it's busy, you don't want people kind of going in different directions on the stairs. It makes sense to have it like that. Nobody up there at the moment, except for the monkeys. How is it that I am fortunate enough to be in this amazing place and to be the only person in here? Always just blows my mind. Some beautiful, beautiful carving here. There are other temples dotted around in this forest too, inside the walls of Angkor Tom, which is where we are. just take a quick look at the stairs on this side to see what it looks like if you are coming down. Okay so these ones have a railing on both sides all the way which is good. So there is that. And here's the stairs back down to the first level. Be careful. Yep. There they are. I think ladder is probably a better description of what these are. Honestly. Oh dear. It's always a dilemma when you come across some um, places like this. Do you go down forwards or backwards? Don't know. I kept my riding gloves on because I figured it's better to be able to hold on to um, the railing. Yes, all of those blocks over there, all just put on the ground, numbered, 
and then put back. Staggering. Well, I made it safely back down. (laughs) Who knew that visiting temples in the Angkor Park was an adventure sport? Next task is I've got to find the bike and remember where I put it. 